Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can launch an EKS cluster from scratch using the Terraform registry module for EKS, right? So if you don't know, there is a registry which Terraform provides or the HashiCorp provides and it has some pre-built modules already available which you can use to create like EKS clusters and there are a bunch of other resources which you can basically use their modules to create, right? So first question is like why do we want to use a module from Terraform, right? Why not just write everything on our own? So <clears throat> I mean for simpler infrastructure, I would say it's yeah, it's better to write your own Terraform templates, right? But when things get complex, things like EKS cluster, where you actually have to create so many things that chances are that if you start writing everything from scratch, either it will take you a lot of time to get done with your testing and everything, right? To make sure that you have created everything or else you will forget building something or the other, right? So it basically increases the time to way to get your infrastructure up and running. So it's better off if you use Terraform registry module for whatever you're building, right? The, the modules provided by Terraform or modules provided by HashiCorp, it makes things very easy for you. So I am going to build a module or basically launch an EKS cluster using EKS module from uh, Terraform or HashiCorp. So let's start writing. So currently we don't have any files. So let's quickly create the first file which we want to create is providers base. Yeah, so providers is important. So providers are TF. And this is going to have our providers definition. Uh, so insert, I just not finding I, okay. So provider AWS and the region would default to US East one. So that's where we are going to build our EKS cluster, right? So that's pretty much it. You can put a lot of other information like you can bind it to a specific Terraform version or provider version, right? So you can do that, but this is for the example sake. I'm just keeping it very simple. Next is, so basically to launch an EKS cluster, you need a VPC and a subnet information, right? So that information, I'm going to do it in my main.tf, right? And we are going to use data. So, so data AWS underscore VPC and I would call it selected and we are going to filter on name so we are looking for tag colon name and the value I want this to have is application hyphen VPC. So this is my VPC which already exists and this is where I want to basically build or create my infrastructure or create my EKS cluster in this particular VPC, right? So we'll close this, yeah, I think I've closed enough. All right, and the next thing is we want to get subnet right so again data aws subnet subnets it's plural and we want to build our eks cluster in private subnet so i'll just call it private and for subnets again we are going to do a filter PC ID values data dot AWS underscore PPC dot selected selected dot ID. So I'll just explain what I'm doing over here. So you don't need to worry. And um, 
all right so let me explain what i'm doing okay so in this block what i'm doing is i'm actually doing two filters firstly i'm filtering out all the subnets of this vpc right so here you can see with vpc id i'm filtering out all subnet and then i'm doing a second filter basically to filter out all the private subnet so my private subnets have a tag which is called private and that's what i'm filtering on because possibility are that a vpc could have like multiple subnets which are tagged differently right they can be some some can be tagged public some can be tagged private so it depends right so i'll just show you on the aws console as well what i am referring to so this is the terraform module uh, in the uh, uni hashicorp registry so if i go over here and if i go to vpc and uh, so i have this vpc you can see application vpc and if i just go to subnets so i have like a lot of subnets although the naming convention tells it like which subnet is private which subnet is public but let's look at one of the the naming convention can be anything right i could name them subnet 1 2 3 4 as well but let's just look at the tags so you can see the tag name is private subnet 1 and type is private so i'm actually filtering out on where is my code tag type private right so that that's what i'm filtering on so that's what this piece of code is doing it's basically looking at all the subnets of application vpc and just filtering out the private subnet all right and that's it for the main tf now we are going to write our main file which is eks tf right so let's quickly start writing it module we'll call it eks and for source let me just copy the source and paste it over here all right so this is this is how you basically tell how you want to use the hashicorp provided terraform modules right so you, in the source basically you give this path right so terraform figures out okay you are trying to use this particular module from the hashicorp registry or the terraform registry right just so now this module actually has its own variable so you don't actually have to define any of your own your variable this module already defines variable for you i just need to pass value so if you just go through this documentation right so variables like cluster name cluster version cluster add ons vpc id all these are predefined for you you just need to pass values or you can have your own variable.tf file where you are basically creating these variables right and passing the value over here this is basically a very in i mean very in it's very same to like how you create your own modules right so yeah just imagine in that way so cluster name i mean i'm i'm not sure if i explained it uh, like in in an easy way to understand but yeah that's so i'll call it my first cluster right a cluster version let's give it 1.29 let's just keep it n minus 1 right and subnet id so all these values you can find in the documentation and we'll just give data dot aws dot subnet dot private dot ids that's how we have defined our subnet and vpc id in the same way data dot aws underscore vpc dot selected dot id and now we are going to define a managed node group so you know like there are two types of node group managed eks managed node groups and self managed node groups right i'm not going to talk about the differences it's, it's too much so eks we are going to create an eks managed node group managed node groups
name would be let's call it broad node group one desired capacity let's call it three max capacity three min capacity three let's just keep everything as three instance type we've got use tt dot edm launch template name because this is going to create a auto scaling group right so it needs a launch template so this will also create a launch template for you prod lt1 and i think that's it tags if you want you can give some tags environment production and name let's give it my cluster one and that's pretty much it so one thing if you see i have not passed an ami id anywhere right that's because this module is smart enough if you don't give it a, a name a ami id it will figure out in your account in your region which ami id is capable is uh, basically compatible with eks right eks compatible ami and it is going to use that but there is uh, basically a variable where you can i think pass an ami id i mean if you just go through this documentation there is somewhere where you can actually pass an ami id as well if you want to use your own ami id right if you don't want it to use its own ami id if you want to use your own ami id you can basically pass it but i don't have my own ami id so i'm going to use whatever it is going to give me all right so i think that's pretty much it let's do a terraform in it see all right and it is done let's do terraform plan and we have an issue okay we have not closed so let's go to eks.tf and insert and we have now closed it let's do terraform validate Good to do a Terraform validate just to validate. A data source AWS subnet has not been declared in the root module. Okay, which is I think this is. Let's do a Terraform plan to see if it's working. No. AWS subnet. So what have we defined? Have we made a AWS underscore okay yeah so I think this is AWS underscore let's clear the screen let's run a telephone plan again and it is working all right yeah so it has worked so let's do terraform apply hyphen hyphen auto approve so this is going to take some time i think it takes around six seven eight minutes so i'll just pause the video and come back once this is done well, I just wanted to show you guys like you can see how many things it is creating for you and why it is so convenient instead of writing everything on your own because uh, because 
See, if you would have to write uh, your own Terraform templates to create an EKS cluster, you would actually have to write like so many things. You have to create IAM policies, IAM roles, security group, security group rules, like AKMS keys for encryption, right? So you have to create everything from scratch. But I mean, we directly define few parameters like cluster name, cluster version, VPC subnet. That's pretty much it. And it is creating everything for us, right? So that's the benefit of using these modules, right? So you don't actually have to rewrite everything on your own. So I just wanted to show you that. Let's just pause the video again. All right, guys, so the cluster is created. It took close to 11, 12, 13 minutes. So 11 minutes to create the cluster, another two, two and a half, three minutes to add the node groups. And if we go to our AWS console, you can see my first cluster is created. Let's just check for compute. So there is one node group already added. Let's just check nodes, uh, details. So this is the auto scaling group, right? And you can see desired capacity is one. Um, okay, so that is strange because I think we mentioned our desired capacity as three, right? I'm not sure why this is showing as one. Yeah, so it has created one. Either oh, is it creating more? No, it's not creating any. Uh, and we have the min also set to three. So it should be running three minimum. I mean, as per my understanding, I'm not sure if my understanding is 100% correct. So, I mean, I can look into this issue, probably why it has created only one instance, which is surprising because I asked it to create three desired. So it has set desired to one. Okay. Anyway, I'll look into this sometime today, but the purpose of the video is actually solved, right? Because now we know how you basically create any case cluster using the modules from the Terraform registry, right? I'll look into this, like why it has created only one node when we gave it three. Maybe, maybe we have missed something somewhere, right? Uh, we'll have, probably have to go through the documentation. So I'll do that and I'll put it in probably the pin comment, right? Why did it only create one node? Okay. All right. So that's pretty much for this video, guys. I hope you guys liked this video. Please do subscribe to the channel before leaving. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment and I'll be happy to help. Thank you for watching.